those people who are saying that or who are promoting that there is no complication in our case they are basically giving false information to the people to start mobilizing your ankle and your toes immediately after the surgery once you are totally pain free immediately after 6 hours of anesthesia effect is over and you are able to mobilize your ankle so that is the most common we immediately start physio also like on the next day only we start the physio and for the dbt purpose we always put patient on blood thinners and oxa parents pin track infections if you are going for lengthening over nail method pin track infections can occur if you are going for pure lesion method also then pin track infection is common Hello friends I'm Dr Sunil Saini trauma laser surgeon expert in limb lengthening deformity correction and pain management today we will cover about what are the possible complications in limb lengthening surgery whether you are going for limb lengthening discrepancies or whether you are going for cosmetic limb lengthening in case of limb lengthening discrepancies usually we are going for one limb because one limb will be discrepant the complications rates are less when we compare to the cosmetic limb lengthening cosmetic limb lengthening you will be going for both the limb at one time so uh, for understanding purpose i have divided these complications into immediate complications after the surgery and later complications and prolonged complications so coming to immediate complication after the surgery because it's a big surgery we are covering all topics like lengthening of nail methods elisaro method as well as the internal nail methods immediate post complications which can happen one is bleeding you can understand number 2 because it's a big surgery number 2 it's infection which is also immediate infections like if infection is happening within 24 to 48 hours number 3 complications which can happen is dbt clots or pulmonary embolism pulmonary embolism because the patient is totally on bed prior to the surgery or one hour before the surgery you were completely mobile you were walking and now after the surgery especially cosmetic limb lengthening surgery not totally even on the bed so there are chances of dbt clots that's why we always encourage the patient to start mobilizing your ankle and your toes immediately after the surgery once you are totally pain free immediately after 6 hours of anesthesia effect is over and you are able to mobilize your ankle so that is the most common secondly we immediately start physio also like on the next day only we start the physio and for the dbt purpose we always put patient on blood thinners and oxa parents so this is immediate complications which can happen now post surgery like almost after 7 to 10 days what are the complication which can happen or the complication which can happen over the period of time when we start the limb lengthening or when we start the distraction phase so uh, pin track infections if you are going for lengthening over nail method pin track infections can occur if you are going for pure laser method also then pin track infection is common but most of the time these pin track infections are superficial and very well managed can be very well managed with the help of antibiotics if there is a deeper infections then definitely we need debridement so pin track infections when we are using an alone method is very common pin cut out when lengthening exceeds 3 or 4 cm then also there are chances of pin track infection along with cutting so this is one of the most common complications which happens during the phase of distractions now second is when you are undergoing the lengthening your regenerate conditions there can be a chances of poor regenerate formation which will happen if your lengthening pace is very high if you are uh, distracting at more than 1 mm per day or during the surgery if osteotomy injury is more high then also there is a chances of poor regenerate formation thirdly if prior to the surgery your nutrition was poor you have vitamin deficiencies vitamin d3 deficiency then also this can happen that is the condition of poor regenerate formations so poor because we cannot see immediately the regenerate therefore after 2 to 3 cm of lengthening then only we can judge whether calcification is happening or not so poor regenerate is also one of the complications which can happen and third complications which can happen during the course of lengthening that osteotomy site fusion that your osteotomy is not distracting that happens if there is early calcification so that that is one of the non complication which happens so these are the three most common complication now during the lengthening when you achieve 4 to 5 cm of lengthening then another complication which can happen is tingling and numbness whenever there is stretch over the nerve 
in my previous videos, in my early videos, I have covered that when you are doing lengthening, we are make a cut in the bone, but there are muscles also, there are ligaments also, there are tendons also, there are nerves also. So they expand with the help of stretch only. So if the stretchability of your nerve is poor, or prior to the surgery, your status was not so flexible, your muscles were not flexible. So there are chances that there can be neurological complications like tingling, numbness, heaviness, which usually happens after four to five centimeter of lengthening. So if such kind of symptoms are coming, then we need to decrease the speed of distraction. That in spite of going for one mm per day, we might need to decrease. Now the uh, other complication which can happen is stiffness, stiffness of ankle if you are going for leg, stiffness of ankle can happen, stiffness of your knee can happen, stiffness of your hip can happen. That is also a very known complication which can be very well corrected with the help of rehabilitation physio because from the day one onward we will keep you uh, mobilizing, we will keep you giving physio or rehabilitation at least twice a day, all this physio will be done. So stiffness is also a very known complication and if you are exceeding your uh, like if your body is allowing 5 to 6 cm but you want to go for further in spite your muscles are very tight then there is very high chances of equinus deformity equinus deformity can happen or there is inversion deformity which I have seen with alloy method so that's why we always say that if you are going for more than 20% of your uh, the normally which we recommend is 20% of your pre-existing length then you can go for very easily without any complications but this is not a rigid thing, if your body is allowing, then you can definitely go for further. But if your body is not allowing, we know to stop before 20% also. So it is not always mandatory that we can go for 20%. In some of the patients, we have seen that we have gone more beyond 20% also without any complications. And in some of the patients, even before reaching the 20%, already patient developing complication deformity, then we need to stop. So friends, you need to understand that if you have complications, then rehabilitation will be very prolonged and your walk, your gait will be affected, then your day-to-day -day activities in future will also get affected, your running, jumping, all these things will be affected and your gait will also affect it. So I always recommend to the patients who are going for cosmetic limb lengthening. If you are gaining 5 cm, 6 cm, without any complication, it is far, far, far better than gaining 7.5, 8.5 or they are saying uh, in tibia 9 cm, but you have complications, you have deformities, then you will always keep on cursing these surgeries and surgeons. So don't go for that. I have seen many times patients just keep on pushing that I want to go for this much, but one should not go beyond that. So that's why monitoring is very, very important. You need to be monitored. And that's why we have provided the provision that when we have started our limb lengthening center in Patodi, we will keep the patients nearby only. So I myself will be visiting at least five to six times a week and my physio will be keep on seeing because monitoring is must. We cannot become rigid that uh, I want to achieve 8 cm, I want to achieve 9 cm, I will not stop in spite of complications. So, you need to understand your, how much your body is allowing, then you need to stop the uh, lengthening in spite of getting complications. Complications are going to happen. Those people who are saying that or who are promoting that, there is no complication in our case, they are basically giving false information to the people. Although we always take care of all these things, but these are the complications which a doctor who is going to perform surgery on you is going to explain each and everything. So need not to scare for that, but these are the probable complications and the responsibility of the doctor as well as the whole team that this will bring down this to as minimum as possible. We cannot make them zero. But we will try our best so that this complication will not happen. So friend, this is in short about limb lengthening. If you have any query, you can contact us. If you have limb length discrepancy, one limb is shorter than other, you can contact us. If you have deformity, you can contact us for the correction with the help of Zero. If you are looking for cosmetic limb lengthening, you can contact us on our given number. And uh, you can contact us also for other various musculoskeletal disorders. Like if you have any tennis elbow, frozen shoulder, musculoskeletal problems, if you have cervical spondylosis, if you have lumbar disc problems, if you have shatika, if you have knee problem, if you have osteoarthritis knee, if you have shoulder, frozen shoulder, if you have any ACL injuries or any sports injury, for that also you can contact us and you can see our various videos where we are treating non-surgically. All these musculoskeletal disorders can be corrected without any surgical intervention and for limb length definitely you can contact us. So friends, uh, share our videos, uh, subscribe our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much.